Hi, I'm Kate. I'm a biologist with Hawkwatch International. We're a raptor conservation organization. We're trying to understand some of the drivers behind decreasing kestrel populations. In Salt Lake, the valley here is a great place to study that, right? There's so many landscape types. There's lots of landscape change. So we have hundreds of nest box throughout the valley, throughout the region, that we monitor with the help of our community science team and we'll keep track of these nest boxes. And when the nestlings, the American kestrel nestlings are old enough to band, so we'll come take them out of the box and place a band on their legs. So we'll band them with both the USGS band, which is a small metal band. It has a unique nine digit number. So you can think of it like a social security number, right? It's unique to that bird. So if anyone catches that bird again, they can know where it came from. They can know how old that bird might be. And then we also put a color band on these birds as well. And so the color band is a unique um, alphanumeric code to that bird. So it might be green, AAA. And so if you see that bird and you report it to us on our Hawkwatch website, we can actually look up and see who that bird is, how old it is, where it came from, and so this banding is a really important tool to help us understand more about what's going on with these populations. So are they sticking around with the same nest box? How productive are they each year? Um, what's their average survival? So it can help us answer all kinds of questions um, that can help us disentangle what's going on with American kestrels.